Hi there, Harold. Hi there, Harold. Mm, hello, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jimmy Nelson and Danny O'Day mm, and Thartle. Right. And we're just saying hi to Harold Crocker. What kind of a croc? No, not a croc. C R O. We know how to spell it. Harold Crocker. Okay, we got it. Anyway, thanks for inviting us to be on your show, Harold. And we were sitting here, Danny and Farfel and I, just reminiscing about, oh, a number of years ago when you and your family... Yeah. And yeah, you came to visit us here at our home in Cape Coral, Florida. And that was nice. It was a hot day. But your family was cool. Yes, they were. We had a good time. Anyway, it's always fun to see you at the Ventriloquist Convention, Harold. And uh, I know your television show is is a big hit. Oh, I know that. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, right. And uh, it's it's a pleasure to be uh, on it with you, and also to uh, to talk to all of your viewers and your friends up there in uh, Massachusetts. And uh, hey, your wife is from New England. That's right. Betty is from Farmington, New Hampshire. Does anybody know where? Farlington is? Well, it's a little town. Anyway, it's in New Hampshire. It's in New England, and we get up there uh, every once in a while to visit. But in the meantime, uh, we just wanted to, to come on your show because uh, we heard it's very popular. It is, it is, right. Yeah. So uh, Danny and Farfel and myself uh, would like to do something that maybe your viewers will remember. From the old days? From the old days. Remember how it goes? I certainly do. Yeah. May I have an A, please? Yeah. Hey. Did you get that, Farfel? Hey. That's close enough. Okay, here's how it went. Do you remember? N E S T L E S. Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. Remember that? So do I, and I certainly do. Yes, you do, Farfel. Anyway, from Jimmy Nelson, Danny O'Day, and Farfel. Continued success to you, Harold, and we'll see you at the next ventriloquist convention. Okay? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. No, that's somebody else's act. <laughs>
I like it. Yeah, I like dolls. <laughs> <laughs> but we call them figures. Figures, yeah. Anyway, yeah, like he's a figure. I'm a figure, yeah. Now, I can know. I ask you, Harold, how you got started doing this? Uh, we got started by watching, years ago, uh, Paul Winchell with Jerry Mahoney on television and of course my great friend Jimmy Nelson that was on the Nestle chocolate commercials with his dog mm. Farfel and uh, he was also on the Milton Berle show and we started out doing shows like minstrel shows uh, uh, all kinds of talent shows which we have been on and one of the greatest shows that I ever appeared on was the Ted Mack original amateur out of New York City mm. and uh, I'm very proud to say that recently I received a copy of that show and that show was taped uh, 42 years ago, wow. live from New York City. Well, that's yeah, that's great. right, Harold. Well, yeah, they still looked pretty good, didn't they? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. we're out of time, but we're so happy. Well, you're out of time. What do you mean you're out of time? Yes, I know. Oh, you're good. Hello out there. Have a nice day. We'll see you later. Thank Bye -bye. you both thank so you, Tanya. much for Bye -bye. being here. Butch, thank you. Oh, I'm glad. And my friend Bucky. Sure, sure. Hi, Snack. How's she doing? Not bad, Bucky. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. Great to be on your show. Thanks. It's been great to have you back. Bucky, let me ask you something. Are you a sinner? Am I a sinner? A sinner. A sinner? No, I don't think so. No? That's too bad, because guilt is such a terrible thing to waste. Oh, have I got plenty of guilt? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. How are you today? Uh, great. How are you doing today? Thanks. Not bad. Sure. I now, how long have you been working with, uh, uh, Harold, how long have you been working with Bucky? I've been working with him about three years. Oh, so he's new. Yes, I knew. He uh, knew. It's hard for him to talk because of his buck teeth. I know. But sure, sure, sure. Is Nick like Max? <laughs> Mac. Oh, it's Nick. Yes, Mac. Oh, is that his name? Yes, it is. His name is Mac. Oh, sure. Is this the Mac talent show? Yes, it is. Okay, and, um... Now, now. What you looking at? How long? Have, no, you've been you've been working with him for three years, but you work yes. with other other um, uh, figures. Figures. Yes. Now, is that my, what they call figures? Is that best to call them figures? I hate to call them dummies. Uh, figures. And my friend Butch was on your show about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, with Crazy Ed. Sure, sure. Yes, with Crazy Ed. Now are you sure. uh, now now are you Butch's rival? Uh, he's, he's other, yes. He doesn't <laughs> like me too much. He doesn't. But I like him. You like you like Butch. Sure, sure. Can I do something for all the girls out there? Well, you can do something for all the girls. You better make sure they get that on camera. She Liz. Now hey, I leave the only girl things out there. Sure, Bucky. go ahead. Sure, go ahead. A diamond's forever. Forever? <laughs> Look if they can afford them today. <laughs> Bucky, do you drink? It's water. Just water? Water. Nothing stronger? Nothing stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just came from Jake's. Cut it out. Jake's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Well, you know. Sure. You know what it is? I, I, well, I don't drink sure, sure. any alcohol. You, you don't drink any alcohol? No. No. I, do you think I need it? Grape juice. No, not grape juice. What's well, the matter with you? a little bit of grape juice here and there. If you're out there, look for the lighthouse that will guide you safely along. There's a course you must steer With a path that is dear But there's a chart Where the way is well shown So you'll find love Right where God said it would be It's inside the heart that was pierced for you Inside the heart That was nailed to a tree Yes, you'll find Love In the heart of a son Welcome back to the Harold Crocker Variety Show. Yes, Butch. We have a nice little girl here today, and her name is Faith Hoffman. We do? Yeah, she comes from Centerville, and she can play the violin, and she's great. Uh, let's meet her. Hi, Faith. Hi. Hi, my name's Harold, and this is my friend Butch. Hi. Hi. I'm glad to have you here today. How old are you, Faith? Nine. You're nine years old, and you go to Centerville School? Yep. Uh, what grade in school are you in? Fourth grade. You're in the fourth grade. And how long have you been playing violin, Faith? About four and a half years. 
four and a half years. Oh, boy. I want to hear you. I know you're very good. And I, I believe Butch wants to hear you, too. So we're going to go over there. And what's the name of the song uh, that you're going to do for us? Play for the Rondo. Play for the Rondo? Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to watch you. And I want a pretty smile from you, too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. You do tap dancing. You do singing. Oh, you're terrific. You know that? Well, Butch, uh, I wish you had the talent that Peter has. Oh, I can do a little bit of tap dancing. Well, I don't see any taps on your shoes. I think you got it in your head. Now, look, Butch, cut it out. We have with us today a young lady, and her name is Claudia Johnson. And here she is. Hi, Claudia. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. And where do you live, Claudia? I live in South Yarmouth. South Yarmouth. Oh, and what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to be dancing. Y you going to dance? Mm-hmm. Harold, would you like to see her dance? I would like to see her dance. And what kind of a song are you going to dance to, Claudia? Well, the first one I'm going to be doing to Behind Blue Eyes, which is by The Who. It's what I would call an interpretive dance. Oh, that ought to be interesting. Well, would you go ahead and get set up, and we'll be glad to see you do it, okay? Okay. Oh, that ought to be good. And I'm Kendall Tenney. This is First News 3 at 4, where news comes first. There are a lot of dummies in Las Vegas this week. No, I really mean it. Dummies, as in ventriloquist dummies. Some of these characters are high-tech, but one simple little guy was stealing the show on the strip today. Kurt Goff has that story. What are you going to drink? Seven out. Seven out? No. Harold Crocker has a best friend. His name is Butch. He sings like a canary. Holy God, they're what money. Yeah, I think they're like ten verses to this song. <laughs> Loves to kiss pretty girls. <laughs> Who cares if people are staring? They're usually smiling. The outfit may be part of the reason. Butch is expensive person to have with me and uh, as you see his bow tie and uh, his suit here he enjoys wearing this type of suit this is one performer with small shoes to fill they look like old man shoes harold has his own get up including a jacket that doubles as an advertisement for his act uh, you are perfected so you don't move your lips uh, your voice comes from your vocal cords down here and then you bring it up. Harold and Butch have performed on television in vaudeville type of shows. They've even performed for a president. My friend Butch has had the honors of appearing for President Kennedy, uh, daughter Caroline. What do you think of Butch? Very good. <laughs> it's amazing in a world of high-tech puppets how a dummy, uh, excuse the phrase, as, as simple as Butch could really be hanging around so long and still generate so much interest. By the way, how old are you, Butch? I don't like that. You'll ask me how old I am. Who do you think you are anyway? I don't ask you how old you are. You look like at least 60 years old. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. These are two best friends with lots of charm. For Cop News 3. Good, Billy. If you're wondering, the ventriloquist convention wraps up on Sunday at the Imperial Palace. Looks like Butch has got a little bit of an attitude there. Well, all little dummies do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the Vegas International Ventriloquist Festival on this edition of Out and About. Butch has been with me for over 50 years. 50, 50 years, 5-0. Oh. Uh, and uh, he's uh, had an uh, opportunity of appearing for President Kennedy's daughter at Hyannis Fort, Massachusetts. Oh. Yeah, we did for the President Kennedy at Hyannis Fort, yeah. Well, oh, there's, there's an honor, isn't it? Uh, and we've also been on the Ted Mack Original Amateur Hour in 1960 out wow. of New York City. Yeah, and we come from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, in Thalmouth. That's right. This is great being on your show. Have you been having fun today? Yes, we have. Uh, we enjoy the convention here. Uh, we hope that uh, a lot more people will be coming in the future, and we keep the art of ventriloquism alive. And this is what it's all about. And uh, where I've been doing shows for over the years, it's been a Great honor to be a ventriloquist and have all these friends that we have here today. So much fun, isn't it? Oh, it's so much fun. If you have seen all the uh, ventriloquists and all the dealers here with their figures, uh, this is, it's an art that you cannot replace. To tell jokes and make people laugh that there is one catch, they can't move their lips to do it. They are ventriloquist, and for the rest of the week, the best of the best are right here in Las Vegas. Kevin Kennedy has more on this entertaining profession. It's making people smile and be happy, and that's what we're doing this ventriloquism for. 